Around this time of year, we start to hear a lot of talk about freedom, about how our freedoms need to be maintained or how this candidate will do a good job to maintain this freedom or give us this freedom or how this candidate's gonna take away this freedom or they're not gonna fight for this freedom of ours. Freedom to us is very important, especially as Americans where our whole history is based on freedom and being freed from another country. But a lot of times we get confused with what the true meaning of freedom really is. What is our true meaning of freedom? If we were to look it up or if we were to probably say what we thought freedom was, we'd say that it'd be the power to, or to do or to act as we would like to without anyone hindering us or to think or whatever we'd like to do without other people hindering us from doing that. But that is a limited view of what freedom truly is. Today in our first reading, St. Paul is writing to the Galatians. At the end of it, we hear, For freedom Christ has set us free. So do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For freedom Christ has set us free. So do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. That freedom is in Christ that we find it. It, that freedom is in Christ. It's a beautiful thing. So freedom is not just to do and act as we would want, but it is a freedom to choose the good, to choose Christ over anything else. It is a freedom from the yoke of slavery. And what he means by the yoke of slavery is anything that keeps us from God. The yoke of sin, the yoke of anxiety, the yoke of fear, the yoke of doubt the yoke of despair, anything that keeps us from worshiping the Lord as we should. Our freedom is found in Christ alone. I once, uh, when I was in seminary, had this priest uh, who was at the house, and a lot of times we'd come home after classes on a Friday or when it's about to be the break or at the end of the year, whenever we were done for a while, and we would say something like, we're free, we're free. And he would very deadpan face say, you were always free. You were always free. <laughs> and that's the case for us, brothers and sisters. We are free because we have been given the inheritance by Jesus Christ. It talks about inheritance as well in that first reading that we have become, we are heirs to the gifts of God, the gifts of God which give us the power to choose the good and to reject the evil. We can reject evil spirits, anything that where we feel a tendency to sin, we can reject that. When we feel a tendency to despair, we can reject that. We can know that sometimes our feelings aren't the most reliable thing that we have. Really, our, the most reliable thing is our faith and our knowledge that Jesus Christ is the victor. And in him, we have our true freedom. So, my brothers and sisters, it is for freedom that Christ set us free. So do not submit again to the yoke of slavery.